Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, I made some coffee this morning, right? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to Marlin. Just a moment. So, I've been at work, maybe this is my second day back from the Philippines. I've been at work two days. So I go in to make the coffee, right? I got here early. I'm still kind of jet lagged. My body's on um, the same time as it is in, um, to say Philippines, Japan. So they're a whole day ahead, exactly a whole day ahead. So when we're up, they're asleep. And when we're asleep, they're up, it's their day, okay? So I'm trying to get adjusted. So I got here, got to work a little bit early and Normally, there's a guy there that makes the coffee. He knows typically how to make it. I showed him, and he normally makes it that way. So, I go in, and I took it upon myself to make the coffee, right? And I got done with the coffee. I drank it, and I did all the cleaning. I cleaned the pot, cleaned the filter, everything. And um, I go to drink the coffee, and I'm like, what is going on with this coffee? Like, it really... It didn't taste right. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. I looked at everything. I can't I can't put my finger on it. The only thing that I can probably say that's wrong with the coffee is, if I had to guess, I think it's the water filter, okay? Because normally they, they have a filter on there that filters the water and make it really good quality, good clean water. And I think the filter's bad because this coffee takes, it tastes bad. Um, and they give us packs of Starbucks to make this coffee with. And Starbucks is pretty good coffee. Some people can, you know, say that it's not good coffee, whatever. But I drink coffee and I can tell the difference, especially if it's clean water, good water, good coffee, whatever. But it was, it's horrible, okay? I'm trying to drink a little bit of it because I'm trying to get over this jet lag. And um, I'm just trying to be, like, awake. I'm trying to get back into my routine. But anyway... Marlin, Marlin, what's going on with it? It took a, a big dip yesterday, and as you can see right now, it's already up three point, was it three point um, seven seventy percent? And I already expected that it was going to go up. Okay, so I bought a few more shares. I'm not going in really deep to this yet, okay? Because I'm still waiting to see if it's going to bounce back down and get close to this like below the nine dollar and remember not nine dollar but the nine cent remember i said yesterday if it approaches like get below the 10 and hits the nine area i was going to buy more so it's down here it almost came down to um the high nines right nine cent not quite so this is kind of letting me know that it's very possible that it could come slam me down and pass that today it could try to test it again but right now it's on the run up i don't know why um, I know there's a lot of news out and this could be FUD and they're talking about, they were talking about EVs and Tesla and all the rest of these that um, it's not going to be a good day for EVs and this and this and sometimes you got to take news like that with a grain of salt because things could go in the opposite direction of what they're saying because sometimes they want people to sell their shares just to um, so they can pick up more shares, okay? They want people to sell their shares back so they can grab them back up. So keep that in mind. So we may, it's possible we may see a nice run. And kind of, this is kind of what it's doing this morning, just a little bit, but we will see. So I'm waiting on it to come back down, approach the um, high nines. And if it gets in the nine, I'm, a, I'm going to buy some more. But like I said, we have to watch the news. And if this stock split is gonna be um, 100 shares uh, for one, or one share for a hundred I'm gonna pull out like so quick I'm gonna I'm gonna sell my shares and back out and wait till the split happens and then it's done okay then I'll probably buy back buy back in and watch it ride back up so we're gonna keep an eye on it you know I really haven't I really didn't make a price prediction for Mullen but it is what it is we just all we got all we can do is watch it and um, I hope you guys watched that video yesterday I talked about what need to happen to Marlin for it to be in a very good position. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it. Share the video, okay? Share the video and maybe 
hopefully I'm I'm hoping maybe Tesla may think about it and maybe Elon may think about it okay it's just a <laughs> it's just a thing that I put out there I don't know it could happen I don't know we'll see but anyway let's get by on Mullen I see you guys in the market and um, and take care that's it I gotta try to finish this coffee all right guys take care peace